Hey party people, welcome back to another episode of Sunless Sea, and I wasn't planning on doing any- Nope, stop! <laughs> oh... This is Chris of the California Kings, Idaho Jack on Steam. I was not planning on doing any recording this evening, um, I'm just kind of tooling about and, um, gathering things so that I can have something interesting for my next video, but I'm in Vendor Byte, and, um, I... So I stopped by the Chapel of Lights, and I got a weeping scar from throwing nightmares into the well. And I thought, okay, that's a little minor thing. It's not exactly life-altering, so I don't really necessarily need to, you know, put that into any... Anyways, long story short, so I hear Vendor Bite, I go to the first curator, and it says, show it your weeping scar. So I'm like, oh, oh, well, let me see what this does. So the, we, the grand curator... Somehow I got a page from the Neathbow. I got the Gant. I don't know how I did that, but let's see. Disappointing, it wheezes. I imagined Gant as hungry gray, more beige, but promised your payment is there. A human skull sits atop a dusty notebook. So I don't have the page from the Gant. I don't have the Gant. I have a lamentable relic. I have seven secrets. Ooh! So... Oh, wait. Oh! So, wait. No more than zero. Is this saying that... Oh, so... Oh, I'm not excited. Okay. This is gonna be a very interesting thing. All right, so I was never really sure how I was supposed to go about gathering up pages from the Neathbow for the Freeze Curator over here, um, but somehow I did, and it seems that somehow I have more pages. So I'm just gonna have to keep on trucking with that one. So I shall. All right, well, take some Z bats, but we're on our way to Wither right now. Um, number one, I'm collecting some strategic intelligence for the Admiralty, which I'm okay with. But then, once I complete that, uh, now that I have some secrets, um, I can get Stone's attention a little bit more. Because apparently I have some of Stone's attention. And then possibly we'll go back to the Chapel of Lights. Um, it's so nice to be <laughs> done with the with the last tour i um i don't i don't want to rag on the last tour at all i i think that it was actually a very um intriguing little storyline there um really the only problem i had was that for me in starting over a brand new game and then wanting to jump into that story um it meant for me really having to like you know like most of this map is all cleared away because of my exploits in trying to further the last tour for the tomb colonists um so for those of you who will be playing the game for the very first time if you see that option and you have the ability to take up that option upon starting a new game i highly recommend charting the z first get some landmarks know where you're going that way it will be so much easier for you to be able to do it and you won't feel like you're just you know like wasting resources in an attempt to get the last tour accomplished but um, otherwise i really liked it um i thought it i thought it was very interesting and unique it was nice to be able to play with some tomb colonists for a while um it just it just felt less impactful i think than it would have had i already been playing the game for a little bit um, and had more space on on my chart. Anyways, blah, 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 so let's go to Wither. Explore the town. Uh, walk away from the riddles. Riddling contests. Perfect. My uh, riddling contact. So now I have the strategic ad uh, information. Uh, sure leave. Gather intelligence. Um, I don't really want to spend the money. All right. Your crew follow your example faithfully. One drinks a little too much pale wither and beer and has to be fished from the harbor, but they spend a relatively decorous night gambling for salt and bone and return refreshed. I've lost 50 echo. I've lost five terror, and I've succeeded in a veil's challenge. Now let's go to the house with a question. Gain salt's attention. The walls around salt's shrine are. Written, oh wait, no, I gained... 
Hang on a tick. Stone's attention. Not salt. I have stone's attention. Well, you know, let's uh, let's just see what happens. Gain salt's attention. No echo. Your words sink into the silence like stones into the quicksand. The initiate listens, eyes closed, committing every detail to memory. Leave now. If you see where I write your story, it's the worst kind of luck. I've lost a secret. I've lost a Z story. I have salt's attention, and I lost ten echo. Okay, cool. So now I can return to London. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, what can I do? Oh, um, so I, uh, God, it's funny. You know, you go out and you do just a couple of things, and then the next thing you know, it's like, oh, so, uh, so here's what we missed. So the Chapel of Lights, I fed some nightmares into the Z. Um, I fed some nightmares into the well at the Chapel of Lights. That is what got me my weeping scar. I also um, uncovered Teneb and Bright, a frost found. Um, they look like a frozen over version of the Dawn Machine, which I find very intriguing and very interesting. Um, however, going to the port there does nothing. At least nothing at this point in time. Um, so we're going to return to Fallen London now, and we're going to explore some possibilities that I have with my new lodgings. I am very excited. Um, seeing as how my ambition for winning is to retire to a life of luxury, um, I feel good about amassing money, spending money, buying things. Like, If you want to retire, you absolutely have to purchase some type of upgraded lodgings, whether that is a decent mansion, like not a Z mansion, but um, yeah, furnished lodgings, or um, a well-furnished Z mansion, you have to have a place that is not above the Blind Helmsman. Oh, and by the way, the fog. I freaking love the fog effects that have been added into the game. God, they make me happy. They make me so happy. One of the downsides to the fog, however, is that your uh, crew will have a harder time um, getting a target lock onto enemies that are nearby because visibility is reduced heavily while you are in. Now it says right here, we've entered a fog bank, our gunners struggle to see our foe. Um, so you're going to have a bit of a more difficult time in that regard. Um, but man, the fog effects are really super cool. They've definitely, the polish, the polish, um, especially recently, the further we get towards February, um, and with February coming, the game going out of early access mode and going into full retail mode. Um, the different layers of graphics, like Frostfound had different snow layers that were falling over and across the screen. Um, the enemies that are out and about, more enemies, Z-Bats, uh, Megalops, Lifebergs, oh, more fog. Oh, makes me happy. I love foggy weather just kind of as a rule. Like, for me, myself, I love foggy weather, so to have it be um, so artfully portrayed in a game like this, it's very exciting to me. What, what can see me? Okay. I'm just gonna... Oh, you can see me! Well, you're a bastard. Fine! Oh, shit! Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you motherfucker. This is what I get. Okay. All right. Let's scuttle the ship. I've gained supplies. You bastard. My hull is 45, so I can't. I can't just repair my hull. Well, can I? Can I try? Ah, it says if at 50 per. Oh, 50 percent, not 50 hull. Okay. Okay, I was reading that wrong. Of course, that is, you know, I am now going through my uh, supplies pretty damn quickly. But I figure... I am discovering new ways to get supplies, like, pretty on the cheap. 
the more Z-Bats you take out, the more Megalops you take out. Stop by the, uh, the sister's house on Demo Island. No, Hunter's Keep. I'm sorry. Ooh, I was a little bit off. I'm coming off the grips of a fairly nasty head cold. So, um, the thought processes are not as clear <laughs> as I would like them to be. <laughs> but, let's go to London. Oh, the Revenue Man. Her Enduring Majesty's Custom Service works closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Masters of the Bazaar. Today, they have selected you for an inspect the inspection. Don't cheek them. Let them do their worst. This will also reduce your suspicion. A suspicion is five or more. Uh, declare all controlled goods. Talk your way out of search. Fails. Uh, let's see, fails. They tramp up and down your freshly mopped stairwells in their nasty boots. They poke and pry and prop, but they find nothing. You succeeded in a fails challenge. Collect messages from the harbor master. Ah, a little request. Once we find ourselves here on the quay side, what is, I suppose, you might say, the lip of the well of opportunities? So let's both drink deeply from this well. By which I mean, my patron has a task for you. Take a payment across the ocean and bring back a little package. Of course, I will. Uh, I collect a package from Guider's Morn in the Corsair's Forest. Fantastic. I've got a thousand echo in which to do so. Fantastic. Let's speak to the Dark Spectral. Uh... Oh. Assist with subsistence. Sassy Emerald Tea if, can provide a little fuel to cover your costs. One point of favor. Okay. I will, uh, I will hold on to that. First, we submit our port reports. That is new, and that is very interesting. I like that. Um, considering I have 12 Admiralty's favors, that also is nice. Um, I kind of saved those up for really, truly repairing my, my hull. Port Carnelian. I need to figure out where Port Carnelian is. Strategic information. Pass on strategic information. Gain 150 Echo. Submit port reports. Uh, submit a port report on wither. They, they give me fuel for some. Oh! I am liking this! These changes are very nice. Retrieve strategic information from the Chapel of Lights. Wow, there. I, I went and got strategic information from wither twice in a row. So that was a very interesting uh, little predicament there. Shops. I have some prisoner's honey, so we will sell that. No, I'm not selling my steeple engine. Sell some supplies. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's go to London. Let's go to my lodgings. Okay, so now you can see here, um, since I have the elegant townhouse, I was able to accept the fact that I have a child. My child now lives with me in the townhouse. The, I accepted the fact that my child is, I am the mother of my child. And so now, whenever I have a night out, instead of carousing through London, I return home and have time with my family. Your sweetheart comes and goes. They have their own complicated business, but they always return to your shared home and your child. I've lost a free evening. Let's see. It's a delight, but will it always be a delight? The Zaylor knows two worlds. If you give suitable presents to your child, they will gain sea fever. If sea fever reaches 25, they will decide to run away to sea, becoming your Sion. This will establish a permanent dynasty of future Z captains. Let's see. I have a memory of distant shores. I have a vision of the surface. And I have an outlandish artifact. Let's give them a souvenir. I've lost. See, that's another great thing I like about having the lodgings and spending time with families. You lose, you lose a decent amount of terror for doing it. Um, you are, and then, then your child gains sea fever. So honestly, in like two or three more times, I will probably have a sea on out and out and about. Your child seems powerfully inclined to play with the artifact. Perhaps it will break. Perhaps there's a jewel inside of it, or a map, or a spirit. Perhaps it is edible. Perhaps you should employ a more vigilant nurse. Okay, 
Sweet. Uh, read the morning papers. Always have recent news. And I gained supplies for that. Thank you. I will take it. Take it happily. So, okay, let's take a real quick look here. Well, what do I, need? I need 200 echo. I'm not doing this. This is um, consider retirement from the Z-faring life. This allows you to review options, which will end the game. You can safely scrutinize them without choosing one. So we can kind of review things here a little bit. So victory. This is optimally hands down. I win the game. Um, my ambition is retired to a life of luxury. I get a Z-side mansion, so I need to have earned enough to buy a Z-side mansion, and I need to have 15,000 Echo. Or I could retire to an elegant townhouse. This considers the game a draw. So I'm going to go, no, not yet. Um, rest in your elegant town. Z-side mansion. I need 10,000 Echo to purchase a Z-side mansion. Alright. Well, that's not so bad. It's certainly gives a fantastic demonstration. Oh, wait, where's Guider's board? That's right. Oh, there it is. So, what's nice about that, um, being able to review those options um, is nice because then I get to go, hey, look at me! I know what I'm doing! I know what I'm doing! Um, one of the things that I love and also simultaneously do not necessarily love or find shall I say find kind of aggregating about the game is that they don't hold your hand they don't tell you this is what you need to do in order to do this you really really have to ride the waves and you have to make everything happen on your own you have to search for everything they kind of give you general basic clues um, so to be able to go look this is what I need in order to accomplish my goal 100% and truly and win the game that's nice. It's a nice little sign that just tells me this is all I need. So, that's nice. Again, I, I like the fact that you don't necessarily get your hand held in this game, that you are adventuring, you are exploring, you are figuring this out on your own. Um, it can be a little bit aggravating, because I'm like, uh, so, what am I doing? How am I doing it? How can I go about furthering this for myself? I'm just gonna kill you. The nice people at home want me to kill you, Mr. Boat. So anyways, um... Oh yes, I forgot. That's what I was gonna do. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do once I have enough money, and I should hopefully have that on my next run, or possibly the run after that, is I'm gonna go get the uh, Poissonneur from the Tomb Colonies, and he's going to be my new cook. Um, it costs three hundred dollars to employ him because you gotta renovate your kitchen and your galley to uh, quote his liking, unquote. So we're gonna go and see what we can do about that. Anyways, I'm gonna call it here. There wasn't a whole lot I wanted to show you all, but um, I did. I have been doing some running around, and I did want to catch everyone up on what's new. Um, I the, the the you know retiring to your lodgings, getting. Uh, Getting fuel, getting supplies from the Admiralty is nice. That is a nice, lovely change. I think once the Admiralty's favor gets high enough, you should get that for doing that sort of duty. And I think that's a wonderful little change that Fail Better has added to the game. Anyways, thank you all so much again for watching. This is uh, Chris of the California Kings. Um, please check out everything else we got going on the California Kings channel. Uh, we're showing a lot of love to some really good games. This is going to be a big year for us. We're definitely branching out and trying some new things. Um, so like, comment, and subscribe, and check out what's going on. And we will see you on the next episode. Ba-boom!